Hello, Collective. This is Renee, and welcome back. Um, I've got a divine masculine message today, an update. Um, the energy that I'm feeling is this masculine is really going over the top. <laughs> they are having the hardest time. And if this masculine has a third party or is currently in a connection, I feel like this masculine is really, really taking out their frustration. I feel like the masculine and their um, third party or connection are constantly arguing over the situation. And unfortunately, the situation is you. Um, I don't know if you're aware of it or not. I think you are aware. But the third party is very aware of you. They are aware that the masculine is being fully distracted. And I do mean fully distracted by everything about you. And this third party has actually caught the mas masculine looking at your social media. And even scanning old messages, if they have access to that. Um, I feel like this masculine is really, they're going over the top with their emotions. And they're trying to find a way to get out of the situation that they're in. So they're kind of relieved that the third party is aware of the situation because now that kind of gives them an exit plan. It gives them a way for their third party to be angry enough at them so that they can go ahead and try to make contact with you or try to come into your energy to fix the situation. But feminine, be aware. This masculine has not ended the situation with their third party or connection they have just did what they do you know they've ghosted they've you know ignored or not paid attention they're like going through old patterns they're they're not learning from the situation and some of them are trying to fix the situation but they're doing it very slowly so this third party or whatever connection that they're in is still in their energy and because they're acting a certain way towards them and really yearning for your connection and maybe even slipping up and calling them by your name. <laughs> and that is really getting underneath their skin. So they don't know how to stop this. It feels like you're kind of taking over everything they try to distract themselves and you're there they try to go to sleep you're there they try to work you're there they they're they're trying everything in their power and they know that this connection that they have with you is so different it's so unique that they're not able to play the same games as they did with other patterns or other cycles in their life, they have to come correct. And in order to come correct, they have to do things the right way. And that means letting go of any further connections with past people. And I feel like this masculine really has like a roster that they go by, right? They have backup plans. They have people who can occupy their time when they feel lonely, when someone else doesn't have time. You know, they have this list. And it's really crazy. It's really unique. Um, but and I feel like this masculine is really taking time out to um, make some noise. I, I hear a honking in the background and I, I feel like that's like them making that noise like being so frustrated and just trying to clank stuff together or be really clumsy with stuff this, 
I'm, I'm telling you, feminine, you have this masculine so flustered that they don't know which way is up. And it's not funny, but what the masculine has put you through through the past months or years, um, it's kind of like kind of what they deserve, but I mean, it's not like you want to be petty like that because that's not in your character to be petty. But it, it also lets you see that you mean a lot more to this masculine than, than they're letting on. And it's kind of eye-opening for you and for the masculine, right? So I think that there's a lot of things that you're finally being made aware of. Um, and this masculine is really trying to get themselves under control. I think that they're trying to really be around the same people socially that they're used to being around, but it's just not the same. It doesn't feel the same. I feel like they're snapping at, e at each other. They're, you know, they're, there's certain drama going on that is making the masculine aware that they're not able to get any peace around this social group. And I also feel like this social group has talked about you so much in this masculine's ear. Now he's getting really tired of hearing it. He's getting tired of people talking badly about you when he knows that it's not true. He knows now that it's not true. Because for a long time, I feel like the masculine was really sucked into the conversations. And he was actually taking other people's advice about certain situations with you. And he was very manipulated very easily by the social group. So he believed every lie that they told. And I believe that, you know, you stayed on the conversation a lot. I believe that they had a lot to say about you, even though they don't even know you or even though they don't know anything about you. They, I mean, this masculine really took their word for whatever they, they said. And it's, it's amazing to me. But that lets you know how manipulative this masculine was at wanting other people's approval and trying to be a people pleaser to so many people in their life. Um, this masculine has went out of their way and amazingly, because he never did this with you, but amazingly, he would go out of his way to make other people happy, like taking time out with them, setting them as a priority, or doing things that he really didn't have time to do. But the funny thing is, the masculine cares more about you but never made you a priority. And that's really confusing. That is really confusing. I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how to take that. It's just amazing to me. The divine masculine is really seeing things for what they are finally. Um, they are having huge realizations about situations that they've been a part of that they are finally seeing what they've done wrong in the situation and it's making them feel so much regret so much of everything right um and i feel like this masculine is trying to make amends to people in their lives or people that they've wronged and 
Although they're standing in silence with you, they haven't come forward just yet with you to try to make amends, but they're taking care of all this back end stuff that is helping free up their their heart and their minds by taking some of the pressure off. Um, I feel like this masculine is really spilling the beans, right? This masculine has been talking to people that they feel like they can trust about your situation, asking for advice on how to go about fixing the situation, knowing that they have to come to you correct. They have to make steps. And in order to do that, they have to build up their confidence enough in order to face you. And that is the hardest task possible. Because this masculine is now seeing every single thing that he did that was either a disappointment or broke your heart or just flat out wronged you, right? So this masculine is going through so much regret and it is burning like a flame that's like covering his body you know it's it's like agonizing that he did someone so wrong that he cares so deeply about and he doesn't know the first way in order to make things right with you but he's like asking for advice on how to go about it So, unfortunately, he hasn't made any steps yet, but he is hopeful that things will work out in his favor when it comes to you. But he's got to build up the courage first. That's what I have for you, Collective. I hope this helps, and many blessings to you. Love and light.